Hello everyone. Today I would like to discuss the relevant topic of utilizing artificial intelligence in our work. A few months back, I stumbled upon neural networks and I'm eager to share my journey. This won't serve as a tutorial as I won't dive into technical specifics. Instead, I'll recount how artificial intelligence seamlessly integrated into my workflow. Hopefully, it'll motivate you to explore this subject further. Currently, there is an abundance of neural networks available, both paid and free. Clearly, there is no point in studying all of them consecutively, especially since they are based on different algorithms. As an illustration, a prompt that is perfect for one network will be completely useless in another network. After conducting an extensive review of multiple reviews, it came as no surprise that I ultimately decided to choose Midjourney. Stable diffusion and of course the chat GPT that fits almost anywhere. Let's go through it step by step using this animation as an example. I created it a year and a half ago and now I'll show you how it would work with this cheetah. This GPT has proven to be versatile, adaptable and widely applicable. One of the most challenging and crucial aspects of our projects is the generation of ideas, which plays a key role in determining their success. Mid-journey can be a great source of inspiration, especially during this part of the journey. If you have a stupor, you can't come up with anything. You can refer to the neural network and generate different poses, emotions for the hero. Ultimately, they will assist you in viewing the character from a distinct perspective. Perhaps the idea will arise Take a look at my results and see if it resonates with you. There are a multitude of successful options available here, which can serve as an excellent starting point for the plot. Certainly, you can search for art online. However, by using Midjourney in conjunction with your search, you can greatly accelerate the process and obtain the desired results in a much shorter time frame. This is the prompt I employed in the generations. And what else is a substantial advantage worth mentioning? Not all animators possess the necessary drawing skills. Consequently, they often find themselves having to abandon potentially brilliant ideas due to a lack of artistic ability. Observe the numerous details I incorporated into this cat. The source code is displayed on the left, while my drawings occupy the right side. It probably took me an hour or two, and now I can't recall. However, in today's world, all of this can be generated within just 10 minutes of time. In this project, acquiring such pores through mid-journey is not an overly complicated task to accomplish. We simply generate various angles and by adding or subtracting a similar model, we will obtain. What if we require a specific object that has clear and well-defined proportions? For instance, here is a snail as an example. I sketched it using a mouse in Photoshop software. I am confident that a considerable number of animators have the skill to draw at this level. If you make use of this picture in a mid-journey as a source, we will be rewarded with an absolutely adorable snail that is undeniably cute. She will look stunning in various artistic styles, including realism, 3D and 2D graphics. However, the snail I drew will not be the same. If you increase the weight of the source for generation, it will appear unattractive and lose its original charm. Here is the outcome. No job here has fallen into proportion yet. It's still pending. For this task, I'll employ stable diffusion with the CotrelNet extension to ensure accurate implementation. You have the option to review the parameters that I utilized. When it comes to the model, please select the one that appeals to you and aligns more closely with your specific requirements. Include our sketch. This is where we specify what we want to obtain and what we want to exclude from our desired outcome. Commence the generation process and monitor the rate at which we acquire a model in accordance with our outlined sketch. This model fits the proportions I drew almost perfectly, with incredible accuracy and precision. I possess numerous generations. Realism, 3D graphics and 2D drawings are part of them. Even if you have only basic drawing skills, you possess the ability to bring any idea to life in a remarkable way. Now, let's envision this situation. You are assigned to design a drum for this animation project. It's time to get creative. How can I go about doing it? First, I'll create a simple sketch. Then, 
using stable diffusion, I'll generate a range of different variations based on the sketch, or perhaps unexpectedly encountered an image in the middle of your journey. However, what if drawing is not one of your areas of expertise? Your attempts to create a sketch may resemble this. However, when browsing the internet, you stumbled upon a picture that perfectly aligns with your vision and meets your requirements. I require this drum precisely as it is, including its size, color, decorations, and other specifications. What steps should we take in this situation? Unfortunately, we are unable to utilize this image due to copyright protection. Watermarks are present. I will demonstrate effective techniques to resolve this common problem. To generate the desired outcome, we upload an image to Stable Diffusion and provide a detailed description before starting the generation process. Analyze the outcome. In under a minute, we acquire comparable choices. Nevertheless, these alternatives are entirely distinct works of art. Both items share the same style and proportions. You now possess the capability to perform actions on them. To create a less similar object to the source, you can experiment with the parameters for a more distinct outcome and obtain a drum with the identical angle and style, albeit with distinct proportions and design. In my perspective, this technique is extremely impressive and cannot be disregarded. However, let's go back to the cheetah and the search for inspiration for animations once more. By the way, here is the paw I fabricated for him based on this sketch. This particular option could already be utilized in the field of animation. I experimented with the remaining results, adding volume. The final paw looks remarkably real, considering it originated from a sketch. It's truly amazing to see such intricate work come to life. In terms of inspiration, despite creating numerous posts, the desired idea still fails to materialize. You still don't have a plot for the animation. In this specific case, you can try using the GPT chatbot for assistance. He is really good as an assistant. You need to describe all the nuances in detail, and based on this, the chat will offer several options. Do not anticipate him to do everything for you, but thanks to this dialogue, you can find new and interesting ideas that can broaden your perspective. Feel free to pause and read the fascinating stories that were generated specifically for the incredible cheetah. In my opinion, Utilizing the combination of mid-journey and GPT chat will aid you in generating ideas more expeditiously and enhancing the overall quality of your animation. Intriguing insights for designers. I selected this menu as an example from the game showcasing the Cheshire Cat's presence and unique design elements. On many occasions, you must develop a design for interfaces, and mid-journey or stable diffusion can be a valuable resource for generating ideas and inspiration. Within a span of five minutes, I was able to generate various concepts that were inspired by the story of Alice in Wonderland. And I'm not implying that they can be employed, but as a point of reference they are absolutely perfect. I also remind you about the options available for generating the latest version of Photoshop. You have the ability to delete, add, or make edits to any element on the image in a very efficient manner. This method is ideal for cutting characters, especially when they come to us unprepared for animation. It works perfectly in such situations. This tool enhances art improvement, making it faster and more convenient, including the enhancement of backgrounds. In case you lack a necessary piece for the desired resolution, it is now quite easy to add it without any hassle. You can also have a great time joking around with friends. Adobe Photoshop software handles photos perfectly. What else? Frequently, there is often a requirement for tiled and seamless textures. They must adhere to a particular theme, include specific objects, and utilize a specific color palette. It is not surprising that generating them in neural networks is highly effective, and no one will be surprised by this fact. All this beauty took two mins. Can't imagine how long it would take to draw them. Same goes for backgrounds. They can be generated endlessly. Subtitle editor E. Jukova, corrector A. Igorova. Now, let's talk about the characters. In every game, there is always a key and pivotal character. Ruby is their plaything for us. She frequently appears in front of players with updates and news, keeping them informed and entertained, and thus she requires numerous images and angles. Prior to commencing, you have the option to initially create a handful of concepts for motivation. And look, I made an attempt to apply it to Pocahontas. 
I took her portrait and adjusted the settings. Here is the resulting image that I obtained. You realize that creating drawings manually would consume a significant amount of time. Moreover, these images can serve as a foundation for your tasks. Look, you can create such a realistic portrait. For example, you can create a still life, frequent situation, when characters come to us cut off at the shoulders. Or in the animation, you need to change the angle of the hero, and we don't have a suitable image. I have to spend time on finishing. And now this process can be sped up. On this, I will demonstrate the bears. This is what happened. This is my own drawing. And this is what I created to clearly demonstrate everything for you to understand. Another piece of advice is to use a graphical hint when searching for a specific pose in Major League, as it makes the process easier. Here I took this eagle for clarity, and I added wings here. So, in order to get a similar wing angle, it's easier to first draw its silhouette in Photoshop. I have my drawings, and based on them, it becomes easier to generate the desired pose accurately. I do not suggest using these generations directly in your work, but they can serve as an excellent reference and source of inspiration. And to ultimately convince you, here's another remarkable example showcasing the impressive stable diffusion capabilities. You have the chance to witness firsthand the countless opportunities that arise for an animator and artist. These images are sufficient for a complete character turnaround. With the assistance of the additional tool CotrelNet, you have the ability to generate any pose for character creation. By the way, for those who are interested, here are several options of how a cheetah looks on the Playtika logo, according to artificial intelligence. Now let's delve into the topic of neural networks that are capable of generating 2D animations. Let's consider DID, how it can be useful to us. This network turns any images of characters, whether it's a photo, drawing, or 3D model, into an animated video with added voice. How can we utilize this? A few years ago, I had the chance to work on an exciting wild animation project. The primary challenge we faced was creating lips that realistically articulate and pronounce this particular word. Now we have the ability to upload this image to DID, write any phrases, and obtain an excellent reference that is easy to replicate in your animation. I, the queen of the magical kingdom, say, wild. The next tool is Runway Gen 2. This neural network can animate any image by turning it into idle. As an illustration, I fabricated my colleague and bestowed upon him vitality in the Gen 2 environment. You have the option to capture and upload an image of your current character in order to visualize and observe the outcomes. Although this neural network is not flawless, its different generations can still provide you with valuable inspiration for animation ideas. Today, there are numerous applications, primarily for social networks, that animate faces. I frequently entertain my colleagues with these videos, and I suspect that they secretly despise me for it. Well, actually, they don't keep it a secret. They openly express their dislike. But let's move on. Not about that. There is no obstacle preventing us from importing our character here and observing him from the side. It is clear that because of the cartoonish proportions, it doesn't always turn out well. But this quality is enough to look at emotions, behavior, facial expressions, how eyebrows, lips, eyes, pupils react. You have the ability to observe the tilt of the head. It is a highly beneficial analysis, and it also generates innovative ideas. I cannot help but mention the impressive and visually captivating video styling in the Stable Diffusion project. In the second generation of Runway, there is something similar but comparing them is essentially meaningless. With stable diffusion, limitless idea implementation is possible through its capabilities. I haven't discovered a practical application for these stylizations yet, but as an art project, it looks incredibly cool. Neural networks are remarkable at creating stunning images with precision and accuracy, making them truly magnificent in the field. For instance, you have the ability to create avatars that are derived from your personal photographs. Here's what I found in Table Diffusion. 
I created representations of my colleagues based on how I perceived them. The generated faces are flawless. They bear an uncanny resemblance to real individuals, making it a perfect 100% match. Now, when creating game art, you have the option to easily incorporate yourself and your friends. Now, let's delve into a highly significant subject matter. Am I allowed to employ artwork from Majorn and Stable Diffusion for commercial purposes? Yes, however, there are certain conditions here. Let's commence with Majorni. If you do not possess a paid subscription, you are prohibited from utilizing your work for any commercial purposes whatsoever. If you have bought a subscription, accordingly, you can use it. Yet, as an employee or owner of a company with an annual gross income of over $1 million, you need to obtain a PRO or mega subscription for each user. This will enable you to enjoy all the privileges and benefits associated with our services. And the most interesting thing is that everything you generate, the mid-journey service can utilize for its own purposes. All the artwork you create is stored in the database on the server. It can be accessed and utilized by any user on Midjourney's platform to view and use. Yes, in the maximum subscriptions, there is an opportunity to hide your image. But this does not protect you from the fact that everything you have generated can be seen by other people and used for their own purposes. At the moment, Stable Diffusion is an open neural network and all of its contents are freely accessible without any charges. Simultaneously, it can be utilized for commercial purposes without any restrictions or limitations. Yes, this network is more challenging to master, but the functionality here is more extensive and continuously supplemented, so the choice is ultimately yours to make. The final point I wanted to mention is that when working with different generations, you may come across certain elements that bear resemblance to watermarks or signatures commonly found in artwork. However, refrain from jumping to the conclusion that the neural network is stealing pictures. During the training, the AI processes a massive amount of data. It identifies captions as crucial elements and autonomously incorporates them, considering them important objects in the context of artificial intelligence materials. At least that's what professionals say on various forums. Believe it or not, it's up to you to decide. That's everything I wanted to convey to you, and I hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you for your kind attention.